Sky and Matt here installing our second skin hood kit. Yeah. Sky, what's a hood kit? A hood kit is a kit. Um, it's a kit. For your hood. <laughs> so in this, which is the standard hood kit, you have the Damplifier Pro mats. Um, you have the Heat Wave Pro uh, thermal insulation. You have some spray adhesive and some insulation tape, as well as some tools that you need to get the job done, like the wood roller and the utility knife. The hood kit will help, I, hopefully, with um, a couple different things. One is noise. Everyone's buses are really loud. We installed second skin on the inside, but the loudest part of the whole bus is right here. So we want to help amplify that a bit get rid of the noise and that's what this will help us do. It also helps with insulation. So it's a, it's an insulating, is that an, an addition to the damplifier mats? Or is yes. it another insulating material? Actually, okay, that's yeah. great. So there's an insulating material that helps keep um, heat in when it's cold and um, keep your engine running properly. So I don't know if you ever struggle to turn the engine on in the cold, um, if it's been sitting out for a few hours, but we have. So we're hoping that, you know, this can kind of keep some of that heat in there keep everything flowing um, properly so that when we turn it on in cold areas, it turns on a bit quicker. On the flip side of that, I've noticed a lot when driving the bus in the heat, I can feel the heat from the engine uh, coming through. Um, I don't know, hopefully that's normal, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> like where the pedals are, right? Yeah, where the yeah. pedals are. So putting some uh, Heatwave Pro insulation over the damplifier mats um, will keep the cabin cool in hot days um, so you won't get any of that engine heat coming into the cabin. Let's get to Let's it! Let's get started! <laughs> that was like Pokemon. <laughs> Who's Charizard. that Pokemon? <laughs> Charizard go! So, you look like a Charizard. Shut it. You look like a... Um, There's only one right answer. That's what I thought. Leaf guy. <laughs> So this is what our hood currently looks like. As you can see, there's some gnarly stuff there. Um, this is all the fiberglass stuff that we gotta rip out, and then we'll clean, and then we will install. So let's do that. We're gonna put on gloves and masks, and yeah, let's get it. So this is about as clean as we could get it. It's a 25, 26 year old bus, so that's pretty good to me. Hopefully the damplifier mats will stick. I think they will. So for this part, you are gonna need the damplifier mats and the metal roller that it comes with, but we already lost it. So we're using bowling pins. Yeah. The roller is a lot easier to work with. I would recommend not losing it. It was in a box. We didn't lose it. You're gonna wanna cover up as close to 100% of the hood as possible. And again, these are just the Damplifier Pro mats. They're really thick, nice. Ooh. Look at that heel, heel shot. Whoa, they're thicker than the other ones for sure. Yeah, definitely. So the roller really helps make it stick. And it's, it, is, it sticks to our um, dirty hood that we cleaned, but we couldn't get super, super clean. So that's great. Fire wasn't going to be enough for our hood because it's huge. But this is only four, and we have four more, and it's definitely going to be enough, so that's good. Mine? Skies. No. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't look. That is it. Quick pan, so I can't get it to leave. 
The hardest part of this whole thing is getting inside the hood. Yeah. So the next phase of the hood kit install is uh, to do the Heatwave Pro, which is the sound absorber. So we put on the sound deadener and the sound absorber goes on top and it is really great. It's made out of eco-friendly jute material. Um, it's fire resistant, mildew resistant, mold resistant. It's uh, rated at a heat, uh, a heat rating of 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And once this is all installed, we're gonna keep the heat and the sound out of our cabin, which is the main priority. We already had these physical supports and they recommend that you put in physical supports afterwards. Um, so we just did it below that and then, I mean under it, and then we didn't do it on the side because we don't have physical supports here. Um, but you can, I mean you can just adhe adhere it with that adhesive and this tape and probably be fine. But she's done, good job. Thank you. Yeah, done. Well, done. No heat or sound in the cabin from the engine. None. Bye. Bye.